Welcome back to ESPN Roma. Tonight we have an expert on chariot racing and the science of inertia behind it. Out of the wire box here on Mount Vesuvius Climb. Here we go as they come down the final turn and around the cliff. Oh no! Number 33, Cornelius Brancato, has gone flying into the volcano. Augustus wins! Now that's what I call a rookie mistake. You slow down on your approach to the volcano and you might as well call it quits. This was all due to inertia. Inertia is one of Newton's laws, his first one. The law of inertia states that an object at rest or an object in motion at a constant speed in a straight line will remain at rest or in motion in its constant speed in a straight line unless it is acted upon by an unbalanced force. This means that since Brancato's chariot was already in motion and Brancato inside of it was also in motion along with the chariot, when the chariot came to an abrupt halt at the finish line, Brancato remained in motion due to inertia and went flying into the volcano. Since Brancato is in motion, an object in motion tend to stay in motion. Thankfully, a solution was found. After studying physics and motions, Scott had decided on a solution to this problem. He quickly got to work on his new idea and put out advertisements for his new seatbelt. Scott's revenues nearly tripled as people lined up to buy his chariot. However, not all people were excited for this new invention. Ugh, that's Scott! He's stealing all of my profits with his new chariots with seed belts. Hmm, I recently watched a documentary about inertia and how it works, and I think getting rid of inertia will be exactly what I need to bankrupt Scott. I'll pray to Minerva to see if she'll get rid of inertia for me. Minerva, Minerva, get rid of inertia, and I'll sacrifice an extra cow to ya. Man, I wish I had one of those new fancy fancy seatbelts. Too bad my insurance companies keep upping my rates. Ah! I didn't move? What's the deal with that? Oh man, I haven't ate a Cornelius in forever. Uh, I, I wasn't wearing my seatbelt and yet here I am. And how did that make you feel? Uh, I was terrified. If I had flown forward, that serpent would have eaten me for sure. Tales of Cornelius spread throughout the empire. No, my profits! Now I'll have to sell my farm and my status as an S&P 500 company will be no more! Wahaha! <laughs> now Scott's seatbelt chariots will be useless! And I will once again be the queen of chariots! No one knew what caused this strange shift in things until Mike Pira started taking a closer look at things. This is what I took before and after inertia was spent. As you can see in what I took before inertia was spent, without Scott's seatbelt, this chair rider would have been flying into the volcano. However, in what I took after, this now clearly demonstrates the law of inertia being bent because certain objects no longer stay in motion. Like how a chariot rider would have continued in motion even after the chariot had an outside force act upon it, but now they no longer stay in motion. How do we fix this? Human sacrifice? Not it. Let us pray. Minerva, Minerva, restore inertia, and I'll sacrifice an extra cow to ya. And inertia was restored. Yes, my seatbelts are now valuable again. Now that inertia's gone, there is absolutely no risk whatsoever for me to go as fast as I can down this hill. Ah!